Do you want to make maps for blood? Do you want to please our almighty god Chernobog with bloody dark levels? Then you've come to the right place. So, this video will be a short introduction to the program basics. I'm gonna keep it simple, yet mm, it'll serve you to start your blood mapping journey. Now, while watching this video, forget anything you've heard about build mapping. Blood mapping is easier than you think. Right here and now, you'll find out all you heard and read were just misconceptions. So, what do you need? You need three things. One, you need whole blood, extended map edit, and my manual. So, get the game from GOG, because as far as I'm concerned, Steam and Atari don't pack one unit whole blood anymore. Okay, so just go to the GOG website and buy the game. The manual is here, in Google Docs. I know it takes some time to load this document because uh, there's a lot of pages, 285 <laughs> to be <laughs> exact, and there's a lot of uh, screenshots, so obviously it takes time to load. But don't worry, I'm working on a PDF version. And the last thing is the program. So you go to the website and download the program. To install Extended Map Edit, you just unzip the file into the blood folder, okay? And once you are done, you'll see this folder, Xmap Edit, and also the executable, along with the manual that basically refers to the website, all right? Next is setting up the program. So, um, you have to go to my manual, uh, navigate here, and then scroll down a little bit and copy-paste all the contents you see here, okay? So, for example, you know, for a screen, this uh, section, all right, you go to the plot main folder, um, then xmap edit, and open this file, okay? And then you just copy-paste. For the screen size, I recommend you to use this one uh, for a windowed mode, all right? And the rest, you know, it goes as you see here, okay? So just copy-paste all the things that you see here, all right? But anyways, uh, they're already in the manual, okay? I advise you to have all the key bindings handy. So you go to my manual and then you scroll down. And there we go. Print them or just take notes of the most relevant keys for you. All right. As you can see there is a lot of them. And um, for now, we don't have like a wonderful interface with uh, menus and all that stuff. So you need to rely on key bindings, okay? Just memorize them for now. And one last thing, I'll be doing the map example from my manual, of course. Um, keep in mind, I'm not gonna be so faithful, all right? But um, my goal is uh, that you can see uh, how is it uh, like working with this map editor, all right? So this is going to be, again, an introduction. So let's get started, shall we? So this is what you see when you start the program for the first time, all right? So just uh, here you can change the uh, resolution, OK? And uh, then, uh, well, I'm not going to enable the full screen because, well, uh, I'm just doing this uh, as an introduction, OK, as a demonstration. And then you hit close button and, well, just press escape and new bold. And this is what you see. Okay, this is very simple. Um, you have the grid, you have like two uh, arrows with the um, right mouse button. You hold it and you can move it. Okay. Uh, this is your. Um, current position on the grid, and this is the uh, player starting position on the map, all right? So, uh, let's get started. And see if I can remember <laughs> the map. 
I don't know, but well, I see. Anyways, mm. okay, numerical path enter. Uh, there's this return. That's uh, I don't know why Karnak is uh, doing that. <laughs> I don't know, but I pressed numerical path enter. Okay, this is numerical path enter. Um, okay, then uh, one moment. Hold the page up and all right. Mm, not not enough. I believe this one should be okay. Uh, uh, this one, yeah. 28 should be okay. Let me just uh, check one thing. Yeah, I took the right values. All right. So for now, I'm not going to um, texture right away. Uh, the first stage for me is. Uh, Make sure I have like a general, um, um, well, basically what I want to say is that I just want to have like the basic uh, layout of the map, all right? Because this is going to be a cabin, okay? So I just map all the parts I want to, so something like this. And then, you know, later I'll do the modifications I need, okay? So basically, this is what I want to do. By the way, I'm just noticing that the program, the Karnak also doesn't recognize the spacebar. <laughs> so I'm creating uh, the sectors by pressing the spacebar. All right. So this is going to be like the general layout. OK, and now I proceed to, um, to add more details to the map. OK. So, okay, this is gonna be, this is like too big for my taste. Let's see now. Yeah, much better. So now, uh, even shift. Oh my goodness, this is right shift, okay? This is right shift. And also you can do it with the um, left mouse button, okay? You hold it and that's it. Oh, Jesus. I thought Karnak was better, but well, anyways, I'll move on. So, let's see. Control page up. Oops. Mm, there we go. Well, it says next is page up and page down. This uh, as next? This is curious. <laughs> All right. This is strange, I mean. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have this part already done, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, not enough for me, so... I want to build some um, windows here. So, I press insert to insert vertices. And then spacebar, okay, and there we go. All right, again, uh, right shift, and then I move with the left mouse button, okay. Um, let me see. Mm, I believe they look okay. Uh, right alt. This time, okay, to select the uh, sectors. Uh, let me see. Something like this. Yeah, this looks good enough for me. There we go. And yeah, the windows are okay. So, next are the glasses. So, G again, insert, there we go, I have the 
the glasses. So you can press M for mask or even one. Okay, so it, that's up to you basically. So I press M. There we go. Mm -hmm. The entrance. Six. Okay. Whoops. Spacebar again. Okay, to create sectors. And one moment, I believe. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, this is alright. So I have like uh, the exterior of the cabin is uh, completed. I mean the in, yeah, the exterior. It's a uh, it's completed. All right, so this is gonna be the forest, okay? And um, I don't want to keep it like this, okay? I want to add some details. So, uh, three size, okay. So what I'm going to do is to uh, insert vertices along the walls, just like this. All right, just like this. And then, oh, not here, sorry. You see, just to uh, delete vertices, you don't press, um, uh, backspace so just drag by holding the left mouse button and then put it on another vertex okay again just note that this uh, this map editor is still under development so um, you'll see more uh, updates and uh, improvements all right, and again, um, if you want just to share your feedback, okay, you can go to the Blood Discord channel. All right, so um, moving on, I just move the um, vertices just like this. So I add some variety to the geometry, something like this. Yes, there we go. Mm. All right, more vertices. There we go. That's it. Perfect. So uh, then I need a small sector right here. Okay, let me rise it. Mm -hmm. Oops, there we go. Very nice. You see, now this looks uh, better than before. All right, um, now G again, and now I like insert more vertices to soften the geometry a, a, a little bit as you can see mm. okay there we go Very nice, very nice. So, um, I believe you're wondering why I'm focusing right now only on the geometry, you know, only on on just creating sectors and not um, texturing and um, putting some lighting uh, in the map. Basically, what I'm showing you is the way I do my maps, okay, I do the maps. Uh, this is my workflow, so you can take it and, I don't know, just uh, do things in a different way that I do, all right? So it's just completely up to you, all right? Again, my goal is just to show you the workflow, how how it feels to, uh, to work with this map editor, all right? 
So I believe this is good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. So I finished. Oh, one moment. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Something like this. Very good. Uh, save us. Uh, one and then save. Oops, sorry. There. Um, a thing that I didn't, uh, that I didn't do, I mean, that I, I've not been doing, uh, is saving. So, just, please, just save, okay? So, just escape and save, okay? Um, uh, save as much as you need, alright? Because, you know, uh, sometimes something unexpected may happen, alright? And you really want to have your map saved and also having auto saves just in case um, you ruin your work or you know something unexpected happened like uh, uh, I don't know just your uh, computer just shut down unexpectedly or things like that you know so let's keep working on this awesome level uh, so now I'll split this uh, sector one moment. Mm, no, more like this. So mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's right. Yeah, it is. That's nice. That 5 was from the numerical pad 5. I don't know why Karnak doesn't do that. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why uh, the program doesn't show, you know, like the the right key I'm pressing <laughs> at the moment. Well, anyways, uh, I'll be telling you, you know, the key bind, so just don't worry. Uh, one moment. I believe this should be a bit... Wide, wider, sorry, wider, just like this. So I'll do a chamfer here. Um, stairs this way. One second. This is um a corridor, right? Let's see. There we go. Mm. Okay, the handrail, of course, so I insert here. Oops. Um, then alt and middle mouse button okay just to select vertices independently okay or yeah mm, should be okay nice There we go. Mm. Oh, it's just like this, perfect. Mm. Stairs, so um, I'm thinking one moment. Yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, special tricks menu. You select the sorry, you select them. Uh, I select them by pressing sorry, uh, left shift and the middle mouse button. Okay, sorry. 
I, I just I didn't tell you. <laughs> All right, so let me call pad enter again, and it is set is here. So F9. Uh, I believe four should be the right value. Step eight. There we go. Yeah. I believe so. <laughs> No, just one. One moment. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Where's the mistake? Um. So I want to delete this sector. So what I do is to place the mouse cursor here, and I press J. Solved. Okay. Now. It's good. Perfect. Handrail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks good enough. Okay, insert and again spacebar. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. So this um, this lobe isn't uh, like um, tight into the right direction, so to speak. So there are like two ways. Either I press Alt F and then I try, okay, or I go here, press F, I go back, and then solve. Okay, so I have a beautiful stir right here. Okay, so this is gonna be the uh, living room, okay, and there are a couple of things that I need to do. Mm, there we go. Um, that's it. Mm. As you can see, you know, it takes some time to to model the map, but it's actually very straightforward, okay? Once you know the key bindings, uh, you go fast. Uh, let me see. All right. I'm going to create uh, another hole here okay uh, right shift again okay or just the, the left mouse button okay for selections uh, this will select uh, vertices and also sprites okay while this one is only for sectors all right mm, let's see yeah, I'm missing a couple of things. Skylights. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is like, I believe this is too big. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, it's too big. Or no, no, I don't know. Not really sure at the moment, but yeah, I believe they were like too big for my taste. Yeah, too big. So for now, it's gonna be like this small, and then I'll see if I want them bigger or not. A sofa. Mm -mm -mm. Hold S. Uh, 
I believe I have all the elements. Yeah, I have them. There we go. So now I select this sector and this one and something like this. Mm -hmm. It is all right. I pressed uh, right alt again to deselect the selection. All right. Mm -hmm. is this is like, ooh, is this? yeah, too big for my taste. Mm. No, this is all right as it is. Nice. Right, so select them. I don't know, that, that one or not, I don't want to build that one, okay, let's escape. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, so I'm missing two things. Skylights. That capital is a uh, caps lock. Okay, I was pressing caps lock. Yeah, this is like a bit small. Yeah, I was right to make it a bit. Yeah, you know, like wider. Yeah, I was right. Uh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to create the doors. Uh, so, okay, there we go. Well, at least, yeah, I'm going to make both of them right now. And I leave them here. Ooh, 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 Perfect. Mm. Oh. Go. So, the next area is this one, so, uh, there we go, this is the, you know, the swimming pool area, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, ooh. Yeah, I see the problem here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. It's actually okay. Yeah, it is. Because I have to create a few steps. So one note while making chamfers. So you want to do 
the following okay so you have like kind of the same uh, distance here and here okay now this looks much better uh, maybe four There we go. Mm -hmm. The pool goes here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I need more space. So this is very important. This is how you uh, how you um, make red sectors, okay? Because you have to follow an order. So basically, you make red sectors from outside to inside. In other words, I make this red sector and then I go inside and I start. Why you should do this? Because if I do the opposite. Let me see. Yeah, if I do the opposite, you'll make a hub, a hall of mirrors. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you real quick. So let's suppose you do this, and then you just do this, and then, moment, there we go. Hall of mirrors, you see? Well, not hall of mirrors, just like clipping to be. Yeah, that's not horror mirrors, just a clipping, you see? So just don't mess with the map editor like this, okay? Just don't do it. So I delete this sector and always from outside to inside, okay? This is very important. All right, so... Mm. I don't know if this um, pool is big enough, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is big enough. Mm. Yeah, I believe it is. And the last thing is the garage, or I don't know, or a storage area, or whatever you want to call it. In the manual, I call it a garage. Uh, uh, uh. I'm finishing with the modeling, I promise. I promise. But I'm going as fast as, fast as I can. Uh, four, no. Oops. There we go. And, uh, there we go. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Um, there we go. Whoops. This one. Great. So. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. Oops. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. So I finished. I finished the modeling, I believe. Nope. No, I didn't. This is gonna be a vertical door or doom door. Okay, so nice. And this is gonna be a slide door. So uh, in order to make slide doors, uh, this is the process you have to follow. So I'm going to show you just the first steps, all right? So you create room 
for the door itself. Now, uh, four, five, six grid units. So, uh, one moment. Three, four, five, twelve. Okay. And I leave it like this. Okay. For now, I leave it there. But later, we'll finish this. Um, let me check again, just in case I'm, I'm missing something. But I believe it's good right now. So, yeah, I finished the modeling. Uh, yeah, I finished. So, save, save us number two this time. Save. Perfect. So, now it's time for texturing. Alright, so um, let's start with the uh, with the cabin. And then mm -mm -mm, not this one. Where are you? Oh yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh well, I just wanted to show you something. Because you know I just I uh, I like press tab and then enter. It says return again, but when you see return it's not return, it's enter. Okay, to paste uh, textures is enter, and for um, switching to 2D mode to 3D mode is numerical pad enter. Okay, um, let me think for a second. Okay, so I wanted to do something different. Oh, yeah, I see this texture. Let me paste it here. Nice, because I want to find a texture just for for the forest, and of course I don't remember what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, this is for the grass. I'm finding the other textures, but not the one I want for the grass. I mean for the for the for the walls. Yes, I found the one for the grass. So. <laughs> Well, I believe I, I just missed it. I'm completely sure, like 100% sure. You know, uh, when like you're looking for something and this and that thing is in front of you, but but you are unable to see it. So that's the, 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 the feeling I'm getting right now. There we go, this one. So I have it, so I pasted it and then control enter. There we go. Control enter. You see? There we go. And here the same. Control enter. So now it's uh sorry. Now is the time to uh align the texture. So control numerical pad two. Mm -hmm. Numerical pad two, okay, not two, as you can see in the uh, on the screen, okay. Again, just uh, Karnak is just messing with the key bindings. There we go. Now this starts to look like a forest, you know. And uh, now it's time to change the textures here. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Numerical pad 5 to reset. And then period to align. There we go. Now, uh, oh yes. I'll make this extra. And wooden, wooden floor. Mm. There we go. This one. Nice. So I press F a couple of times. Nice. So remove it. Yeah. 
There we go. Perfect. Um, this. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Tab, enter. Oh, not here. Sorry, I just uh, missed. So, now, why I'm not using uh, control enter anymore? Because if, if I do, the program will uh, like erase the other sector, the other, sorry, the other textures I already applied. Okay. Now, you see, there's like a small problem here. It's if I just press dots, you see, you can fix that by pressing O. No. Now it looks much better. A brick texture. I'm looking for a brick tex texture, sorry. Mm -mm. Yeah, they were like, I believe. The app. Oh, this is. I can see the texture I want to apply. <laughs> uh, here. There we go. And also here. So, enter. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Uh, next is this. So, now more. Oh, sorry. Big texture here and here. Very nice. So, mm, no. Very good. Very good. Um, we go to tile number 20. Nice. Ah, uh, no. Raw texture. Comments, I align them, and finally, I apply a glass texture. Should be around here, yeah. Numerical path 5, and then left shift, numerical path 4, 5, 6, and 8, okay? So, as you can see, it's not like working at all, because uh, numlock is activated. So, I disable it, and then, you see? Very nice. Mm, perfect. Enter and there we go. Now the sky should be here. The one I want, yeah, is this one three, six, seven, eight. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Save. Now I change the flooring for this one. There we go. Nice, very nice indeed. So mm. All right. Mm. 
also here and here. There we go. Now the doors. So mm, this one. Again, left shift and then numerical pad two. Um, F again. Mm -mm. Perfect. So down and down to okay. Very nice. Go control and then numerical pad four or five. Okay. Mm. Just like this. Mm. Relative. Because uh, later when I um, when I set up. The doors uh, I want the texture to drag you know not just to because you know if, if, if I don't apply her uh, the texture will look weird okay <clears throat> I'll show you later very nice oops no nope. oh, this texture there we go this. just like this Perfect. So, I hope you're realizing that this place is just looking like a, you know, outside is a forest. This is a cabin. So, it starts to look uh, much better than before, you know, with all these gray textures around. Mm -hmm. Um. This one. Numer I mean, left shift and numerical pad two. Hmm. Yeah. Now this one should fit really good. It does and very nice so mm -hmm. I'm using again ripple pad uh, four and two mm -hmm. there we go Nice. Um, oh yeah, the sofa. Uh, yeah, this one. And now I use Control Enter. Now is the time to use it. <laughs> nice. Look, look, yes. this is really nice. So, oh yeah, I'm missing a sector. I'm missing a sector. Missing this sector. Sometimes, you know, this happens. So, you know, because uh, I, I have the, uh, like, uh, I have this uh, scratch, the sketch, sorry. Uh, I have uh, a floor plan, um, and you know, uh, the floor plan isn't uh, like the final version of your map, it, it's just a guide, a guide uh, to, to build your map, okay? So, during the process of mapping, you'll see sometimes you'll change things, okay? And that's completely fine. 
There we go. There we go. Uh, which one? Let me think. There should be like a, this one. This texture. I was looking for this texture. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just thinking because perhaps I don't want the whole fireplace to look like this, you know, with this texture. I aim for some variety. Uh -huh. Very nice. Uh, yeah, don't don't like the looks of this. Uh, oh, there you are. Uh huh. Just like this. Very nice indeed. Nice, very nice indeed. So, mm, as you can see, uh, texturing also takes time. Like, yes, don't expect to have a wonderful map in a few hours because that's not possible. So, yeah. This is much better. This looks much better. So, uh, this one. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's good. Very good. Indeed. So, let me finish the living room and we'll move to the next area. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, uh, it is. Uh, there you are. There you are. Very nice. So, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, let's see. Very nice. Oh, I forgot. Forgot to try with this texture first. Then I'll yeah, I believe this should be like four. Like. Uh, for with the units. Should be like four with units, I believe. Let me check if now I can. Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can. Now, <laughs> now it's all right. Now it's all right. That's great. That's great. Very good, very good. By the way, what I'm doing, well, you know that I'm doing the uh, simple map from the manual, but this is gonna be a single player map, okay? I wanted to keep it simple for the newcomers because I understand um, it's not a map edit can be overwhelming okay so there we go 
Just look at this. Awesome. This is awesome. Okay, next area. Next area. Very nice. All and all, and let me make sure it's perfectly uh, aligned. And it isn't, you see? So, this is the way I, uh, I work, all right? So, I don't like to see these things. So, I just press uh, left, shift, and we go path 4 until it's perfectly aligned. Is this time consuming? Of course it is. But I love it when it looks like this, you know? That's perfect. Okay. Uh, let's, let's take care of the stairs. Mm. This one's very nice. There we go. Mm. One second. Perhaps if I just press left shift and yeah, I delete. So uh. now, yeah, perfect. Looks great. And this one, there we go, there we go. There we go. Looks awesome. And the door goes up. New texture here. Um, this one. Actually, I wanted to map with some music, but you know, YouTube algorithms wouldn't like that, you know. <laughs> All right, so maybe, maybe I use another different texture. This one, yeah, I'd rather use this. Yeah, great, this is great. So, relative, let me check what's called the yeah, relative and you too. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Now, uh Like this, save. Um, uh, very good, very, very good. And Oh yeah, this two nice looks wonderful. Okay, the swimming pool area. This texture. There we go. Um, this texture. Uh, no. There we go. Again, for that is uh, left shift and then 
numerical path four and six, okay? Moment. And 100 and, no, 100 only. Um, Okay, so let me think for a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, wonderful. This is one. Uh, I'll use this one. There we go. Now, water. Whoops, this one. Very good. Oh, I see. So I have to make up, ah, sorry, the, this wider. Okay. Oh, -ho. very good. Love it. I love it. Another grass extra here. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now the walls. Uh, okay, these ones should do the trick here and here. So. Mm -hmm. For now, uh, I won't texture the uh, the sliding door. You'll see why later. All right. Okay. So there we go. Awesome. Now. I copy this sector, okay, select it, and then insert, I move it here, and uh, oh, select, uh, and let's see, okay, moment, it's 1024, so, There we go. Uh, good, very good. Um, thinking. Well, actually, it should go like this, but. This one, perhaps? Yeah. Like it. I like it. There we go. Because, you know, for swimming pools, of course, we have we need the outside part and then, also, of course, the underwater area. Okay. So, let's keep moving. Oh, yes. I love to do this. is that texture and looking for metal texture this one because this is great this texture is great you'll see why a moment Whoa. and then I just press uh, left uh, left control and let me call pad four sorry 
and I'm also using control shift okay it's control shift and you see looks like a rail door <laughs> so that's why I love this texture very functional in my opinion okay so Mm. Mm. Next one. So, so good. Now, um, this is gonna be some not dust, but just yeah, this section, yeah, very nice, very nice. I love how it looks. I mean, it's, as you can see, it's like very simple. I mean, it's very easy. It's very easy. You know, like some some people just, uh, you know, love to say, like, um, you know, I don't know how, how can I say it, but it's like, they like to speak with, without, uh, know what they are talking about. Oh yeah. Uh, nice. Very nice. Indeed. So, I can say that I'm nearly done with texturing. Nearly done. You see, now, the texture, it like goes up and down, so I press O, and problem solved. Uh, let me put this down and go. Okay, this one. Mm. Mm. This one instead. Yeah, that's real cool. All right, so I believe, yeah, I finished texturing. Yeah, I did. I did. So, as you can see, the map looks much better. Okay, this is really really cool so save save us now it's time to save on three yeah there we go next stage is uh, decoration okay so let's decorate our wonderful map okay mm. oh yeah Here and with the left mouse button, I click, hold it. Okay, and then make it transparent. Mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking on, on window textures. I have one in mind, but again, I can't find it. Not this one. I, I don't want to use that one. I want to find another one. Um, 
Oh, really? Can't I find it? Oh, Jesus. Well, in that case, I'll improvise something. Oh, no, it's here. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> thank God. All right, so... Mm -hmm. And this here too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Just like this. Very nice. So, more decoration. Mm. Well, there's one. So, no. So, like this, and then I want to place something different. I'm looking for stones. Oh, the chair. The chair, the chair, of course. I leave one there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one. Then I press uh, numerical pad 7. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm good with that. All right. So um, I'm looking for a blacks. Yeah, blacks. Um, there we go. Oops. I know it's taking some time, I know. But if you want to make a map right, you need to spend some valuable time. Um, here I'm going to make a 3D table, okay? Because I can like build a a sector here and try to create like a fake uh, yeah a fake um, table but I want you to introduce uh, the sprite work because what I'm doing this or what I'm doing right now is just like basic sprite work like I insert some sprite for decoration and that's it you know but there's another level another level that may interest you. I'm looking for pictures. Not that one, this one. Mm, something like this. Let's see if I can find a pot. Yeah. A pot. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Not here. There we go. Uh -huh. mm. All right. So a carpet in front of our wonderful fireplace. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I don't know. I'm sure I already saw it. I'm sure. Uh, this one. 
Gotcha. Whoops. There we go. Oh. Yes, here. Because I wanted to like place them here, but because I don't have enough space, I want to keep it like that. I rather insert them here. And problem solved. Okay, I can find the other one, so I put this one. So, the correction here is already done. Like this. All right. Another flag here. I love flags. <laughs> I love to do them. When, whenever I can, I just insert them. <laughs> All right. So here, I don't need too much decoration, I believe. This doom door will need a skull key. Mm. Okay. There we go. Mm, not this one. Oh, uh, one moment. Yeah, I, I was missing this. Whoa, one moment. It's all, and there we go. Nice. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. <laughs> Love this. Very good. And I'm nearly finishing the let's say like the basic sprite work. Mm. Of course, the Chernobyl sign, you know, to end the level. And I don't know if I can find more things to add here. Oh no. Um, I can't find them. I can find them. I can find them. Mm. Ah, this. Well, I'll check. I'll check the 
the texture numbers because you know I I want <laughs> to insert them. So oops. There we go. There we go. That's it. Mm. Something like this. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So, the basic spray work is done. Now, let's move to the interesting part. Okay. Creating um like mm, sprite models okay models made of sprites so to speak so when i press escape and then i go um sorry not, not this is sorry alt s and then uh prefabs insert there's here like, like many of them right there's a lot of them but i don't think i have uh, a model for uh, for torches no don't think so but they're like here like a lot of them um i don't know if you want this to insert a bench <laughs> you just can okay so they're like um prefabs okay this is a sprite prefab so uh delete and i do it from the start okay so um let me one moment, this is, is the texture number here, 248, okay, there we go. Two four eight, and mm -hmm. now I need I need the arm here and I need a torch. I need a torch, a small torch. Mm, nice one. There we go. Now Mm -hmm. Nope. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. There we go. Now I can see the sprite both sides. Okay. There we go. So I finished my uh, basic, you know, my basic torch. This is sprite work. Okay. This is a sprite prefab. So I want this sprite also in the other one. Okay. First, do it here, then insert. Very nice. So this part is finished. Now the last, um, say, uh, the last part of uh, the decorate. Uh, yeah, the and uh, yeah, the last part of this uh, stage. Okay, so let's see how we can do a 3d uh, table i'm going to use both sprites and sectors all right so 
this this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it has the right size. There we go. Now, um, I want to do this now because you know I like to change the sprite stop knob because I always use 1023 uh, because um, you know when I'm going to show you just right now you see now like doesn't like you see like sometimes there's like problems with the uh, with the rendering so if you place directly this right here you know then looks better than if I keep oh one second or oh I don't know hmm. uh, one second I have to do just like this for a moment. You see? So I just like to use the right uh, stat number. Okay. But anyways, you know, if I just if you want just to leave it like with zero, you know, it's just up to you. Okay. Uh, this is uh, one moment. All right, let's get started with this um, with this 3D table. Okay, so we place it just around here, and I create four red sectors. There we go. Uh, all right, so that is done. Let me. Oh, sorry. There we go. Mm. Let me insert a couple of sprites. Um, no, sixty-eight. There we go. That's it. Insert. Nice. So mm, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll sell, I'm going to select all of them. Mm. Yes, I believe, yeah, this is good enough. The case is all right. Yeah, it is. Um... Oh yeah, my mistake. Whoops, sorry. Alt and then the middle mouse button. There we go. Um, insert.
Okay. I need more haze. Let's Oops, I just... Oh, now. Okay. <laughs> now it's okay. All right. Next thing is, as you can see, the sprays are clipping. Hmm? And we can fix that by pressing a number one. Not from the numerical pad this time, okay? This makes... Uh, like... Like... How can I put this? Um... It only renders uh, one side of the sprite, okay? Mm. Well, that's it. And problem solved. Mm. Okay, yeah, looks good. Looks really good. Perfect. So, one there, and let's go. Insert and insert. Oops, ah, not this one. Sometimes this happens because. I didn't like left I didn't leave the mouse cursor close to the selection. So now all right. Um there we go. Insert There we go, we have it. The last thing to do is to raise the legs. Two, three, four, and there we go. I changed the textures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like it. I really like it. Let me move this to another place in the map. There we go. So, ha! <laughs> Love it. This is awesome. I'm missing a couple of things here. Um, I'm thinking because I'm missing a pile of skulls and also the fire. And I have again to check the the texture. So one second. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Mm. Well. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I need this a bit wider. There we go. Very nice. Oh, jeez. Love it. Looks awesome. This looks awesome. So I finished uh, decorating the, uh, the map. So next thing I want to do is to add weaponry, enemies, and such. Okay. So weaponry, Alt S, and then I know a weapon I want to add. Player gun here and also ammo, yeah, box of players. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I uh, insert here uh, an earth zombie. This one, this little fella. Very good. Now I go inside and there will be a cultist here. Um, a doctor's bag. Mm, a box of shotgun cells. Mm. Basic armor. It's a, like a classic thing, you know, like something hidden behind the fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. You see the problem, you know, with the with the clipping. So if I just do this, solved. You see? Okay, I leave it just like this, and ooh, hmm, good. Anyways. Um, let me think. Uh, here I want a zombie. You no, know, in the distance. So you know, like the player has the have the ability, perhaps just to use the flare gun. You know, instead of using the uh, the shotgun. Also, another cultist here. I leave two remote bombs here. Uh, four shotgun cells right here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. More things um, inside. I want to place a uh, shift S, uh, this call key, and also uh, two bone eels. There we go. Oops, uh, I want this. I want... There we go. Um, and that's all. So I finished uh, all the spray work. So 
hit save, save us number four this time. Next stage uh, is the lighting and shading. Okay, of course, uh, this map doesn't look as good as it should be. Now, um, I'm going to um, use um, how can I put this? Like, I'm not going to put a lot of effort uh, into the lighting and the shading, okay? Because, uh, again, this is uh, an introduction. But anyways, um, when you make your maps, just make sure uh, the lighting just looks good, okay? It doesn't look just like this, like uh, too bright or like, uh, I don't know, like too bright or um, too dark, okay? Things like that, things like this, okay? Just don't, okay, just don't do that. So, um, first, I select this sector, uh, numerical pad minus, and do, 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 do. thirty should be okay. Thirty. Um, it's gonna be uh, twenty. Something like this. Mm. Yeah, this twenty is gonna be um, thirty. Sorry, just like this. Uh, 30, mm, 25, these ones, twenty five, yeah, this looks good enough, I believe, yeah, five and here. It's gonna be fifteen. Mm. Yeah. So uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Um. Ten, five, and this one is gonna be zero. Now, mm, I like to apply like more. Uh, Shading to um, to these, uh, I mean to the to the ceilings. Okay, it's a personal preference. Also, I believe they actually look much better. Like it gives you know like the impression that like it's better that it has like better shading. Okay, go. Here I will go the same way. So it's twenty. Okay, this is fifteen anyway, so this is good enough. Okay. Mm, I'm thinking if I should show you like a basic 
light in here. Yeah, I believe it's gonna be a good idea. So let me show you. Mm. One moment. Something like this. Mm, set here and another one here and let's go. Go. So this is what I was talking about, you know, like like having like some kind of uh, work with with shadings, you know, with the shading and, and, and lighting, something like this. Okay, Just let me use like zero here. I just don't like those sprites to look like kind like brighter and they usually look okay. Mm. Oh this one is also there we go and there we go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Ah, individually, I believe, or no, nah. Yes, I take all of them, all, all, all the sectors. There we go. Yeah, just like this, and there we go. You see, this is really much, much better. But, uh, one moment, there we go. There we go. Very good, very good. You see? This looks really good. Oh, by the way. Uh, I believe this kind of transparency is alright. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Um, what else? What else? Uh, this is... Uh, Moment. Uh, oops. Uh, there we go. Something like this. And then uh, let me check here is uh, yeah, it's 20. All this I mean, so it would be 20. Mm. Very nice and
Very good. Very good. This looks awesome. This looks very good. Of course, it could look much better, but again, this is like an um, introduction, okay? I want to keep it simple. And this is, gonna, this is five, so. Uh, yeah, there we go. And this is gonna be. Twenty. Ooh, what happened here? Uh, <laughs> there we go. So I'm done with uh, with the uh, shading. And well, the last what? Well, not the last uh, mm, stage or the last part of my workflow. Um, now I have to make proper settings to this map, okay? So, uh, save us uh, number five. There we go. So, first of all, the starting uh, position. The starting position will be here. So, the player will start here, and I press uh, scroll lock, scroll lock, sorry, scroll lock, there we go, and ship S, marker, this one. Very good. Now, uh, I want to block this, uh, this part of the map, okay, because the, the player will start here, so my goal with this section is to um, give the impression that this uh, area is kind of like just to give uh, um, a feeling of openness, okay, that this place is open, okay? So uh, that's what I do in this area. Uh, now, um, yeah, hit scan, hit scan. I do this with this uh, flat sprite. I don't know, <laughs> flat sprites because um, when, because I don't want other sprites to overlap. In other words, you know, you just shoot with your shotgun here, uh, the uh, the holes, the whole sprites will be like uh, overlapping each other. Okay, and and doesn't. Uh, doesn't look really good, okay? And this is be H, and this is gonna be H only, okay? Hit scan sensitive, uh, so the player can hit it, and block, of course, just so like the player can't trespass it, okay? And mm, yeah, let's make both sprites breakable. So F6 is search. Mm -hmm. There we go. Give object. Then uh, Gibbs, because I need uh, Gibbs here. So let me think F10. I call this uh, window to know all the keeps available, so I need this one, plant combo, and there we go, that's it, so, tab, and then alt enter to paste uh, attributes, okay, or to paste settings. This works, I mean, like, if you paste uh, settings from sprite to sprite, that's okay. If you try to paste uh, sprite attributes into wall attributes, that won't work, okay? Uh, 
I need this stone. Stone gives. I need stone gives. Nope. Uh, 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 rock, rock shards. Yeah, there we go. And what's this one? There we go. Mm, nice. Very nice. Windows. F6. Give wall. Um, give ID number one. And BH, BH, and BH. Then tab and hold enter. And also have to do it here too. Okay, because these uh, red walls are two faced. Okay, that's why I have to uh, paste attributes in both faces. Okay, I realized I didn't activate the vector. Flag, okay, this should be activated. Okay, with spacebar. Okay, so I have to uh, hold enter, hold enter, and then that was my bad. Sorry. So now this should work. Um, yeah. Sounds. I need sounds here. Ambient sounds. So, hold S, marker, ambient sound. I believe this one. Yeah, it is. All right, F6. I activate this sprite. State one on. Then, radius. Radius, I don't know. Maybe. I'll start with these values and then I'll see sound. Oh, this one and volume 50. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. So insert and then I place it here. Yeah. And another one here. Uh, by the way, this is the secrets counter sprite, which indicates how many secrets I set up for this map. Okay. Um, there we go. There we go. So let me think again. Mm. Here it's all good for now. For now it's all good. Um. Doors, double doors, double swinging doors. So, how do you build these kind of doors? This is very easy. So, uh, basically, uh, the player will interact with the wall of this resector, okay? And then both doors will open at the same time. So, F6. Right, then I set the command three toggle will go on and off. I mean, this command will be sent when the door goes on and off, and then trigger on how the player will interact with this door. Okay, push, and that's it. So tab and then hold enter. Alt enter and alt enter. You can do the same in 2D mode. So tab and then enter, enter. There we go. Now the sector F5 rotate and uh, Rx ID 100 because, of course, uh, we used. Uh, uh, a channel to transmit the command. Now we need a channel to receive that command. All right. There we go. The speed. The speed is. Uh, I mean the. 
yeah, this is the speed of the door. I mean, how fast the the door opens. So if I put 10, 10 equals one second. Okay. Anyways, you have uh, a description um, on each um, on each area. Okay. You see. So uh, one second, then again, and crash. Nah, I leave it like that. Well, uh, I mean, like many players had uh, too many door accidents, so I, I, I won't be, uh, you know, I, I won't be a dick this time. <laughs> All right, so now. I place this sprite, which is the pivot, and then this opens counterclockwise, so it's negative. I mean, the angle is negative. And uh, now, moment, uh, no. So from here, and I do the same thing. This will open clockwise. So positive, the angle is positive, and sounds sounds um, is it one? Yeah, there we go. Now G again, and okay, there we go. So I leave it like this for now. Okay, for now. So okay. Uh, B H B H. Mm -hmm. I'm finishing. I promise. I'm finishing. <laughs> I'm finishing. I know this is taking uh, a lot of time, um, perhaps for your first time. But anyways, you need to get used to it. You know, to this kind of um, uh, workflow. Of course, like uh, you need to find your, uh, I mean, the one you feel more comfortable with. All right. But then again, uh, this is uh, like an introduction and I'm just showing you how I work. Okay. So let's keep working on this. So Alt Enter F6 and let's see. Uh, this gonna be for just the give for uh good starts and there we go oopsie so this is 20 this there's another sound, a variation. There we go. That's it. Um, stone. I have a stone here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, this is H. Hit scan. Hit scan also. You two hit scan sensitive. You should to There we go. I think. Yeah. Now you have the hit scan flag. Uh, so, huh. yeah, I just that's one moment. Yeah, that's that's the the right one. Okay, so all right. So I'll change this for. Uh, where are you? Mm -hmm. 
let's try it now. Uh, paper combo. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now, F6 and mm -hmm. I'm thinking, one moment. Number five, I believe. The five is for yeah, metal shards, but it like it resembles also like uh, like bone or something like that. So, oh, it's all right. Uh, so, enter and mm, ooh, I don't like this. There we go. Nice, very nice now. Uh, I believe this area is already done. Okay, this one is also done, so let me this hit scan. Save. There we go. So now I put pounds here. Let me see. How big it is. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. There we go. Uh, not big enough. No, it's big enough. Mm. Yeah. Insert and do, 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 do. Mm. this. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Hit scan. Mm. All right, so more doors. This is like uh. Like the swinging door, like works, uh, mm, kind of similar to the double swinging doors, except for we, except for we don't need to set uh, additional uh, channels. Okay, so just we do this. F five, rotate, then, then again. Because this is, you know, like uh, for when the door goes from closed to open, and then here from open to closed. Okay. And then push and wall push. And sounds. Oops, nope. There we go. Ha, love it. And uh, this will open counterclockwise. Whoops, there we go. There we go. Now, this sliding door. So, this is what you have to do, okay? You just uh, texture a little bit, you know, the frame. And you make enough space for the door. Okay, you make sure you have the same distance here and here. Okay, then you press K here to uh, mark that uh, wall for movement. Then uh, F6, new TXID, uh, toggle going on and going off. Push, then you insert sprites. In sprites, sorry, vertices. <laughs> vertices, not sprites. <laughs> okay, um, so you see, when I insert a new sprite, um, you see uh, the settings will be inherited to the new walls. Okay, so this will 
uh, save your time. You know, you don't have to uh, like copy and paste. No, no, it's like you just insert. I mean, you just uh, put the settings, then you insert the vertices, and that's it. Okay, you're done. Um, okay, F five. Um, let's see. Slide mark, I believe. It is um, ten again, ten and sounds sounds. Um, There we go. This one. So now we have this uh, sector SFX. I like to leave it there. And now this uh, arrow, which represents uh, like the direction of the uh, of this door, of this light door. Okay, this will like uh, close this way okay and that's it i mean for the doors at least and what well, at least nope that's not it because i have to texture okay uh -uh. there we go now the door the door uh, door texture this one and um, just like this, I believe, or mm. I leave it just like this, and then I I check later. Okay, ten. It's very yeah, ten ten yeah, perfect. So, that one is the pool. So, ship this. Uh, the marker will be. Uh, I believe it's. What is the one for water? This one? Upper water, yeah, that's it. This is, yeah, uh, lower. Upper water, yeah, upper water, yeah. So F6, no. Hey! Nope, uh, upper water. And lower ID is uh, 1. The same goes here. Please note that both sprites should be in the same position, okay? The same uh, place, okay? If it's in this case, you know, in the corner, so they have to be in the corner. Uh, six. Lower water this time. And number one because I have to identify them okay and f5 underwater so the player you know can dive okay mm -hmm. this this sprite should be always pegged at the surface okay the same goes for this one Always packed at the surface. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Next one, the door, the doom door. This is very easy actually. Z motion, then 10 and 10. This time, I want to set a time for the door to close. Okay, so 
I press spacebar this time, okay, just to check this uh, box. And then after two seconds, this door will close, okay? Then push and wall push. There we go, crash. <laughs> now I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I forgot. Of course, I need. That's it. And I place this sound pegged, of course, at the surface of this doom door. I mark it for movement. So the sound, you know, goes. I mean, it just moves with the door. Okay, they sh they should move together. Okay, at the same time. Um. Hmm. There we go. We are almost done. I have a few things to take care of. This is a torch, so torches have a special type. This one, and then state one on. There we go. Alt enter, okay, not all return is alt enter. And mm, sounds, of course, I need sounds. I need sounds. I need sounds. So sixty, one hundred and twenty, and sound is fifty-two. No, this one. Love it. Um, mm -hmm. okay. So, here and here too. So, H, H. Hmm. If. Yeah. All good. Now, the last thing I want to make is a lighting effect, okay? So, F5, FX, and then the wave flicker one, I believe, should be okay. Amplitude... Mm. Twelve. Sorry, minus twelve. The speed will be twenty, and uh, and zero offset. I don't want offset. Mm, oof, too too fast. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Now it's good. This is very good. Okay, so enter. There we go. And with this, I'm always done. I always, sorry, most near, like, ah. <laughs> Always done. No, <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I just nearly finishing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, save the skies. Press P. Okay, and then that's it. There we go. That's the last thing. And why? 
I did this at the end. Well, oh, you see this? Okay, so zero. Then so you can see uh, the sprites have the same shading value as the parallaxed sky. Okay. So there's one thing that we can do to fix this. Okay, because this like doesn't look really good. To be honest, doesn't look really good. Um let me do just one thing over here and mm -hmm. there we go. There we go. So I want the program to take the shining value from the floor, okay, instead of the ceiling. And there is a shortcut for this, and I'm trying to figure out which one. Nope. Oh, that's the lighting bulb. There we go. Uh, there was one. Yeah, Shift L or L, so to speak, I believe. It's only L, I believe. Yeah, it's only L. Okay, so L. And there we go. So here you have say zero and here say 20. Now it's time to test this map bot on this program, on the map editor, because we have the preview mode. Okay, so let's see if everything works as intended. So I press home. Of course, I have to move these doors, okay? I know. Oh, this doesn't work. Okay, I'll get to it. You see the texture? I have to do some things to do. Ooh, this doesn't work. Mm, this is very interesting. Okay. So this doesn't work and there's have to make some modifications. Okay. No problem. F6. And okay, so once um, you've, uh, I mean, like you've tested the, the, the doors and you made sure they work uh, correctly, so the last thing to do is to place them where they should be. Now, uh, let me do this to avoid some clipping issues. There we go. One moment. Yeah, look okay. It looks good. Same with this door too. Um, moment. There we go. Um, it mm -hmm. yeah look okay 
looks okay. So texture here. Mm -hmm. Mm, don't like that. Uh, 9-11, okay. Mm -hmm. And 20. There we go. So, let's see what's wrong here. Uh-huh. I forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> so it works really nice. There we go. Yeah, everything works as it should be. Oh, I forgot one thing here. Oh, Jesus. Uh, one moment. There we go. I forgot a few things with the um, door. I mean, with this door. Okay. And also the end of the level. I I forgot it. And also this. Ooh, Jesus Christ! I don't know how many hours I've been uh, like recording. I don't know. I mean, perhaps like two hours or three. Perhaps. Um, let me think. All right. So, um, so share H. Oh, yeah. This is hit scan and this is two. Mm -hmm. All right. And okay. So, this is the, the thing, I mean, doing this is alright, okay, this is what you have to do, okay, just setting the right type, uh, the busy time, if you want a door to close uh, after uh, after some time passes, okay, and then, when, when you finish that part, you have to go to 3D mode, and then press Alt F4, so, I told the editor that this is the, uh, I mean, the, the height the door will reach, okay, and Alt F3, so if I press F4 and then F3, you see, this will work. There you go. Now, end of the level. Let's see if I remember how to set it up correctly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, this is gonna be a um, one way switch. Well, toggle switch, it's, it's fine. I believe it's four, I believe. I'm not sure, but I believe it's four. Um, it's this one. Up, up, push. Uh, also, player only to avoid the enemy's trigger. This uh, this uh, sprite, and then this. Ah, one shot also. So it's only uh, you know. Well, must be triggered only once. Does not work if you receive the command from the outside. Okay. And let's see. Trigger normal. One second. Yeah. Level end. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yay. So <laughs> we finished this map. Okay. So everything works. Okay. Everything works as it should be. Okay. Everything is working. So, uh, oh, no one moment. Yeah, just let me change this because I'm not particularly happy with this. Oh, 
five and then the uh, leaves, 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 this one. Okay. Um, everything works as, uh, as intended. All good. So now the next thing we have to do is to test the map in game. So I'll use mplot this time, okay, and you'll see that this map looks gorgeous. And here we are. So we can, you know, uh, enter there or just break the wall. I mean, break the, the glass, sorry. And, you know. Ooh. Oh, look at this. I didn't block this. <laughs> I didn't block it. Anyways, so, yeah, I just go back. And I believe I, I'm sure I blocked them. I was sure I blocked them, but doesn't seem so. Anyways, um, I'll just fix it uh, later, okay? But, you know, like this, and, and, and also just look at this. This is like a bit stretched. Yeah, so like this is um, why uh, you also want to test not only the map on Extended Map Edit, but also uh, in-game. Okay, so you can see if everything looks good, if you have to uh, to make some adjustments, things like that, okay? Nope. <laughs> that was very useful. Okay. So... Oh, they're dead. Oh, and also I forgot was one another thing, because I'm I'll go back okay to the to the uh, map editor okay because I didn't set the uh, the skull key flag for this door okay I'll show you. All right, here I am. So you know. This is uh, how it's supposed to be. I mean, like the, the mapping process. This is how it's supposed to be. Like um, you just uh, do the necessary tests uh, on the map editor. Then you go to the um, to the game. You test. You see some uh, mistakes. You fix them. You know until you get the result you want. Okay. So oh yeah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I see. So this is B. Okay, head scan. Hmm. Then, oh, I'm I'm a bit confused. Then, oh yeah, believe this is the problem. I believe. Yeah, they are. Uh, this is the problem. This is the problem. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I believe. Ooh, one of these is. Hmm, one moment. No? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Which one? Should be this. Yeah. Perfect. Now. <laughs> and this one should be blocked and hit scan too. There we go. And okay. Uh, okay. So here is a mistake. All well, this is good, but I'm missing this key. Now call. Now it's completely uh, done. Okay. And let's go hit scan. And whoa. Yeah, I missed this too, also. Mm, you see? Once again, like, um, it doesn't have to be, like, 100% perfect 
your first time okay um just i can't stress this enough um you need uh time to build your map okay uh, it isn't a fast process uh, you need uh, to um, take care a lot of stuff okay so you know like the the map looks good that all the textures are aligned that uh, the enemy placing it all right and that all the effects works as you want to okay so like you can't rush all right so that, that's why in, in the manual and also sometimes in the videos I say that you need to take your time, okay? This is very important. It's very important. And also, like, mm, basically you have to understand that, okay? It isn't an easy, sorry, a, a fast process. And of course it has uh, some complexity, as you can see, like, uh, you can see this is a small map and it took me around like three hours to uh, to complete okay on on, on this uh, map editor okay it took me three hours to complete okay and also of course you know this is small map this is a small map so of course you won't take too much time and also uh, taking into consideration that I've been um, recording this and of course I'm not gonna work as fast as I want as, as I want to all right so well you see uh, it's very easy to map on extended map edit um, I hope I really hope that this uh, project this project keeps going okay because it has a lot of potential and well uh, you have uh, now a stable uh, version of, uh, of a map editor for plot. Like you don't have to use DOSBox anymore. Okay, so this is uh, outstanding. You know, it's outstanding. It's incredible. So uh, this is the end uh, of this uh, demonstration. I hope this introduction uh, is uh, useful uh, to you. And well, um, you can uh, reach me on Twitter. I'm also uh, on Discord, in the Blood Discord channel. Um, I, I mean, I can leave uh, a link to the Blood Discord channel, but it's just like an invitation, so it it isn't like a like a, a link that always works. Okay, but if you go to the uh, Blood Facebook. Yeah, to the blood group on Facebook, I believe they have, or like you can ask there. Okay, I'll link uh, an invitation to to that uh, to our uh, blood Discord channel. All right. So, well, that's it. So thank you so much for for watching, and just take it easy and enjoy.